Welcome to a lesson on the Cartesian plane. In this lesson we'll be discussing ordered pairs and plotting points. We now begin looking at the relationships between two variables. Typically one variable is considered to be the input and the other is called the output. The input is the value that is considered first and the output is the value corresponding to or is matched with the input. The input-output designation may represent a cause-effect relationship but that is not always the case. But because of this, we sometimes say that the input controls the output or that the output depends on the input. Whenever we have values that represent the input-output relationship, we can organize them in what's called an ordered pair. Where for an ordered pair, we have the input value, comma, the corresponding output value in a set of parentheses. Or in short, it's the input, comma, the output in parentheses. However, I do want to mention a common variable for the input is x and a common variable for the output is y. So sometimes we see an ordered pair written as x comma y, but the variables don't have to be x and y, so we're going to refer to an ordered pair as the input comma the output. Example one, we have to complete the table. So here we have an input of four, an output of negative three, and has to write the ordered pair. So the input is first, comma, the output is second, and we organize this in a set of parentheses. Next, the input is five and the output is eight. So we have five comma eight in parentheses. Next, we're given the ordered pair of zero comma negative four and asked to give the input and the output. So the input is the first value or first coordinate and the output is the second value or second coordinate of negative four. Next, we have the ordered pair negative two comma six. So the input is negative two and the output is six. Now let's talk about the rectangular coordinate system, also known as the Cartesian coordinate system. It's formed by the intersection of two number lines where we have a horizontal number line called the horizontal axis, or sometimes the x-axis, and a vertical number line called the vertical axis, or sometimes called the y-axis. We always find the input values along the horizontal axis, and we always find the output values along the vertical axis. The intersection point of these two axes, this point here is called the origin. The origin has the ordered pair or coordinates zero comma zero. So at this point or this location, the input is zero and the output is zero. We can use this coordinate system to represent the relationship between two variables graphically. For example, every ordered pair here would be a unique point or location on this coordinate system. Let's go ahead and graph these four ordered pairs by plotting them as points on the coordinate system. So the first ordered pair is four comma negative three. So we have an input of four and an output of negative three. So because the input is four from the origin, we would go right four units. Remember the input is always along the horizontal axis. And then because the output is negative three, which we find along the vertical axis, from here we would go down three units. This would be the location of the point with coordinates or the ordered pair four comma negative three. Notice at this location we have an input of four and an output of negative three. Next we have the ordered pair five comma eight. So because the input is five from the origin we would go right five units. And then because the output is positive eight we would go up eight units. This would be the location of the point with coordinates or ordered pair five comma eight. Notice at this location we have an input of five and an output of eight. Next we have the ordered pair zero comma negative four. So now the input is zero and the output is negative four. So because the input is zero from the origin, we don't move left or right, but because the output is negative four, we would go down four units. The location of the point with coordinates or ordered pair zero comma negative four would be here, right on the vertical axis. And then finally we have the ordered pair negative two comma six. So the input is negative two and the output is six. So because the input is negative two from the origin, we would go left two units. And because the output is positive six, we would go up six units from here. This would be the location of the point 
with coordinates or ordered pair, negative two, comma, six. Notice at this location, the input is negative two, and the output is positive six. I hope you found this helpful.